Have you ever wondered how the various components of a biological system interact to function as a whole? As we unravel the mysteries of life, we realize it's not just about individual cells, proteins, genes, or processes. It's about how all these elements interconnect and cooperate, creating a complex and efficient system that is far greater than the sum of its parts. Welcome to the fascinating world of systems biology. Systems biology is an interdisciplinary field that focuses on the study of complex interactions within biological systems. It's like trying to understand the entire forest by examining not just the individual trees, but also the dynamic interactions between them and the ecosystem they inhabit. One of the fundamental aspects of systems biology is its holistic approach. Instead of dissecting the biological system into isolated parts, it aims to understand the system as a whole. It's like solving a massive intricate puzzle where each piece is a biological entity, and the picture they form together is the functioning system. The complexity and diversity of interactions within a biological system are astounding. Imagine a bustling city with countless individuals, each with their unique role, all working together to keep the city thriving. That's akin to a biological system, where billions of cells, each with thousands of proteins and genes, interact in a coordinated fashion, enabling the system to function, adapt, and evolve. The importance of systems biology in scientific research cannot be overstated. It provides a comprehensive view that can lead to novel insights and discoveries. It's like having a map that not only shows the landmarks, but also the intricate network of roads connecting them. With this map, researchers can navigate the complex landscape of a biological system, pinpointing where and how interventions can be most effective. So, systems biology is not just about understanding biology, it's about understanding life itself. It's about appreciating the beauty and intricacy of how life works, from the smallest cell to the most complex organism. With that understanding, it's time to delve into the top five questions about systems biology. So, the first question on our list, what exactly is system biology? Now, let's dive into the fascinating world of system biology, a realm of science where biology meets mathematics, engineering, and computer science. Think of system biology as a jigsaw puzzle. Each piece represents a different biological component such as genes, proteins, or cells. Alone, these pieces are interesting, but when you put them all together, they create a complete picture. This is precisely what system biology aims to do. It's not about studying individual components of biology in isolation. Instead, it's about understanding how these components interact with one another to form a functional living system. To put it simply, system biology is the study of the interactions that occur within a biological system. Whether it's a single cell, an organism, or an entire ecosystem, system biology seeks to understand how these systems function as a coherent whole. It integrates various biological information, from the genetic level right up to the behavior of entire populations, to gain a holistic understanding of life. Imagine you're trying to understand how a clock works. You could study each gear, spring, and hand separately, but you wouldn't really grasp how a clock keeps time until you see how all the parts work together. That's precisely what system biology does for living systems. It's like being a detective, piecing together clues to solve the mystery of life. System biology uses mathematical models and computational analysis to interpret complex biological data. These tools help scientists understand the intricate web of interactions that drive biological systems. But why the need for such a comprehensive approach? Well, biological systems are incredibly complex. They're dynamic, constantly changing, and incredibly interdependent. A change in one part of the system can ripple through and affect the entire system. Understanding these interactions and dependencies is crucial to deciphering how life works. In essence, system biology is the study of the interactions within a biological system and how they make the system function as a whole. It's like taking a step back to see the forest for the trees, gaining a broader perspective on the intricate tapestry of life. Moving on to the next question, why is system biology significant? Well, for starters, system biology serves as a vital tool in disease research. By studying biological systems as whole entities, rather than isolated parts, we can better understand how diseases develop and progress. This holistic approach allows us to gain a deeper insight into the root causes of diseases going beyond just the symptoms. 
Imagine a clock. If it stops working you wouldn't just examine each cog in isolation. You'd consider the entire mechanism to figure out what's gone wrong. That's exactly what system biology allows us to do with diseases. Next, system biology plays a crucial role in the field of drug discovery. It provides a comprehensive view of how drugs interact with biological systems. This way we can predict potential side effects and drug interactions before they happen. It's like having a map of a city before you visit, helping you to avoid potential dead ends and make your trip more efficient. But perhaps one of the most profound aspects of system biology is how it helps us understand the complexity of life itself. By looking at the big picture of how biological systems work, we can start to make sense of the incredible complexity found in nature. It's like trying to understand a symphony. You can't just listen to each instrument in isolation. You need to hear how they all come together to create a harmonious whole. In essence, system biology is like a powerful microscope and a map rolled into one. It allows us to delve into the intricacies of life, to understand how all the parts of a biological system interact with each other, and to unravel the mysteries of disease and health. System biology, therefore, plays an essential role in advancing our understanding of life and improving our ability to treat diseases. Now, let's tackle the third question. How does system biology work? Imagine you're an architect and you're given the task to design a city. You wouldn't just focus on designing the individual buildings, but also consider how they connect with each other, the traffic flow, the utilities, and so on. This is similar to the approach of systems biology. It's about understanding the bigger picture, not just the individual parts. Systems biology starts with data collection. This involves gathering information about the various components of a biological system. This could be genes, proteins, cells, or even whole organisms. Think of this as the blueprint of our city. We need to know what we're working with before we can start designing. Next comes data analysis. This is where we put our detective hats on. We try to understand how these components interact with each other. It's like figuring out how traffic flows in a city or how utilities are connected. We use various computational and mathematical tools to analyze this data and find patterns or relationships. Once we have a good understanding of the interactions, we move on to creating models. These models are essentially simplified representations of the biological system that we can manipulate and experiment with. They're like a miniature version of our city. We can tweak different parameters and see how the system reacts. This helps us understand the system in a more intuitive way. These models are not just static representations. They're dynamic and can evolve as we gather more data or as our understanding of the system improves. They're also predictive, meaning they can help us forecast how the system might behave under different conditions. But here's the best part. These models can also help us identify key components or interactions that are critical for the functioning of the system. This can be incredibly useful in fields like drug discovery or disease diagnosis. So system biology works by creating models that help us understand the complex interactions within a biological system. On to the fourth question. What challenges do scientists face in system biology? System biology, as we've seen, is a complex field with many moving parts. As such, the challenges faced are equally diverse and intricate. Let's delve into these challenges, starting with data collection. In system biology, scientists must gather vast amounts of data from a variety of sources. These data points can range from genetic sequences to cellular behaviors, and each piece of information is critical to the overall understanding of biological systems. However, obtaining this data is no easy task. It requires sophisticated tools and techniques, and even then, the sheer volume of data can be overwhelming. This leads us to the next challenge, data analysis. Once the data is collected, it must be properly analyzed to extract meaningful insights. This is where bioinformatics comes into play. Bioinformatics is the application of computer science and statistical methods to understand and interpret biological data. But here's the catch. Biological systems are incredibly complex and the data can be noisy and inconsistent. This makes the analysis process extremely challenging. Further complicating matters is the task of creating accurate models. In system biology, models are used to predict the behavior of biological systems. However, due to the complexity and dynamism of these systems, it can be tough to construct models that accurately represent reality. Now it's not all doom and gloom. 
These challenges are being addressed head-on by advancements in technology and research methodologies. For instance, the development of high-throughput technologies has significantly improved data collection capabilities. On the analysis front, machine learning and other advanced computational methods are being utilized to handle the complexity of biological data. As for modeling, researchers are continuously refining their methodologies to increase accuracy. Despite these challenges, the field of system biology continues to progress, fueled by continuous technological advancements. The journey may be tough, but the potential rewards, in terms of our understanding of life and our ability to combat diseases, are too great to ignore. Finally, the fifth question, how is system biology impacting the future of medicine? To answer this, let's first understand that system biology is not just a field of study, but a paradigm shift in how we approach biological systems. With its holistic view, it's transforming our approach to medicine, from disease research to drug discovery and personalized treatment. System biology is redefining personalized medicine. Traditional medicine treats diseases based on symptoms, often overlooking the unique genetic makeup of each individual. However, system biology allows us to dive deeper, understanding how different genes interact with each other and the environment, how they function in networks, and how they influence the progression of diseases. This understanding can help tailor treatments to individual patients, enhancing the effectiveness of therapies and reducing side effects. Next, let's talk about drug discovery. The conventional process of developing drugs is time-consuming, costly and fraught with failure. But with system biology, we can simulate the complex interactions within a biological system, enabling us to predict how a drug will behave in the body. This can streamline the drug discovery process, reducing the time and cost involved in bringing a new drug to market. System biology is also revolutionizing disease research. By studying the interactions within a system, we can gain a more comprehensive understanding of diseases. Instead of focusing on individual genes or proteins, system biology allows us to see the bigger picture, understanding how different components of a system contribute to the development of a disease. This can help identify new targets for therapeutic intervention and lead to the development of more effective treatment strategies. So you see, system biology is transforming medicine by providing a more comprehensive understanding of biological systems, enabling personalized treatments, streamlining drug discovery, and enhancing disease research, it's a powerful tool that promises to revolutionize our approach to healthcare. System biology thus is paving the way for a more personalized and effective approach to medicine. So, we've tackled the top five questions about system biology. The world of biology is a complex and intricate one. It's like a vast interconnected network of processes, systems and structures, all working together in harmony to make life possible. And one of the most effective tools we have to navigate this immense complexity is system biology. We've already discussed what system biology is, a holistic approach that combines various scientific disciplines to understand the bigger picture of biological systems. It's not just about studying individual components in isolation, but about understanding how they interact and influence each other within the larger system. The importance of system biology cannot be overstated, it's like having a map that guides us through the labyrinth of biological complexity. As we've seen, it helps us understand how genes, proteins, and biochemical reactions interact to drive the processes that sustain life. It gives us insights into how diseases develop and progress, and how our bodies respond to different stimuli, be it a drug, a pathogen, or a change in the environment. But understanding these complex systems is no easy feat. It's like trying to solve a jigsaw puzzle with an astronomical number of pieces. The challenges are immense, ranging from the sheer scale of biological data to the dynamic nature of biological systems. Yet, despite these hurdles, scientists are making remarkable progress thanks to advances in technologies like high-throughput sequencing, bioinformatics, and computational modeling. Perhaps the most exciting part of our journey into system biology is its profound impact on the future of medicine. It's like being at the forefront of a revolution, where we're moving away from a one-size-fits-all approach to a more personalized and precise form of healthcare. By understanding the complex interplay of genes, proteins, and environmental factors, we can develop more targeted treatments, predict disease risk, and even prevent diseases before they occur. In essence, system biology is a powerful tool that allows us to delve deeper into the mysteries of life. It's like having a magnifying glass that reveals the intricate details of how life works, 
From the simplest of cells to the most complex of organisms, it's a game changer, a paradigm shift that's reshaping our understanding of biology and medicine. As we wrap up our discussion, let's take a moment to appreciate the power of system biology. It's not just about answering academic questions or solving scientific puzzles, it's about enhancing our understanding of life, improving health outcomes and ultimately, enriching the quality of life for all. As we continue to unravel the intricacies of biological systems one thing is clear, system biology holds the key to unlocking a deeper understanding of life and its processes.